People who lost their virginity after age 35. What's your story? I was 35. Fat, no self-esteem, the usual story. I had long since given up on actively looking for dates. I was comfortable being single and had made peace with my life. Then I just happened to meet someone on a bus while on vacation and we clicked. Did the semi-long distance thing for a couple months before properly hooking up. The first time was predictably awkward. She knew what she was doing though and I've since figured things out. Practice makes perfect and whatnot. Eventually she moved in with me and we got married. Still are. My ex was a 35 year old virgin. I was 39 at the time. So this would have been about 8 years ago. It just never happened for her. She always thought there would be plenty of time and next thing you know she was 35 and I was her first boyfriend. I understood this coming in. It came up as a conversation before we became an exclusive couple and it didn't bother me for the most part. After we were exclusive for a month or so I thought we would get to at least a PG-13 relationship under the bra over the pants and she said how much it made her feel like a whore. I stuck in for a while but that was nearly a deal breaker for me. There's one thing to be cautious but if you're that uncomfortable with sexuality then I started to get concerned. Boy was I wrong about a month after that she was comfortable enough that I performed oral on her. I was content with the thought that this would be our sex life for the next year. A week later she wanted to reciprocate and boom off to the races. Without giving in gentlemanly details let's just say the next three months were her wanting to experiment with everything that she felt was missing. I'm 40 and still a virgin, something I never thought I'd be freely admitting on the internet to strangers, but there you go. Basically my parents told me from a really young age that I was ugly and weird and no one would want me. Any boy I did get close with, my mum pretty much scared away within a few days, then told everyone it hadn't worked out because I wasn't interested in that sort of thing. To this day I don't know why she did this. Maybe it was a control thing, or she had some kind of hang up herself, no idea. Of course, people at school picked up on this, especially at primary school, since my mother taught at the school I attended, and so made comments about my appearance in front of the other students, who gleefully picked this up as prime bullying material. Anyway, upshot was that by the time I left home at 18 and went to college, I was convinced myself that I was ugly and weird and no one would want to go near me. I didn't bother taking care of myself or making any effort because I'd always been told there was no point. So it became a vicious circle kind of thing. I'm by no means a beauty, but I realize now I'm not as hideous as everyone made out. Even when I eventually realized that my mum was nuts and I had to be my own person, the damage was kind of done. No matter how much I try to be confident now, there's always that big bit of me that thinks, do I have a right to use a dating app when really I'm such a waste of space or doesn't want to try anything like Tinder or whatever because you need to upload a picture and a big part of me thinks it'll put people off. People pick up on that lack of confidence when I speak to the moral, and it puts people off, which then eats away at my self-esteem even more, to the point where I really don't know how to fix this. To make matters worse, I got breast cancer 6 years ago and had to have some pretty extreme reconstruction because of the type of tumor it was and the damage it did, so I'm now covered in scars. The one bit of my body I used to be proud of was my boobs, and now they're completely horrible. I know I've pushed people away and can think of numerous times when men were hitting on me and I either didn't realize or didn't want to admit it because I was scared I was interpreting things wrongly and would end up making a fool of myself. So I reckon it's self-isolation for me for the foreseeable future. 30 year old male virgin. Never happened for me in college. Despite being sociable and having a pretty large group of friends slash acquaintances and being in the type of environment where it should have been easy, I kind of just assumed it would happen at some point, maybe I would have been more aggressive if I knew what was store for me lol. Then for most of my early slash mid 20s was suffering through unemployment slash underemployment mixed with the accompanying depression which made me very uninterested in pursuing relationships, was more concerned with staying alive. 
Got my first steady 9 to 5 job at 26, but kept putting it off because I was convinced I needed to make more money, establish myself, get my ducks in a row, etc. before anyone would be interested in me. And now at 30, I'm absolutely terrified to put myself out there, because I know the virgin thing will come up at some point and I know it's not normal, unless maybe you're religious. Like just imagining, having to explain it to someone my age after 2 to 3 dates, yikes. So yeah, good times. Just have to put myself out there more. Good thing there's a pandemic going on. I have a friend like this who is still young and it scares me how whacked up his ideas of a suitable girlfriend is. He's usually a genuinely nice person but holy shit, when it comes to a potential GF, she apparently has to like exactly the anime he likes and exactly the anime he hates. I'm sure you can picture the exact condescending this is an important screening test I have deigned to put you through to determine your nerd cred tone in the way a comic book neckbud might have cook and clean after him, but not just that. She has to cook amazing perfect Italian food and Japanese food, so preferably she is both ethnically Italian and Japanese. But at the same time, she needs to be fluent in English, she needs to be Catholic, she needs to code, and she also to have the exact views and preferences on coding, coding languages and on tech devices, which he has. But she can't just be meek and agree with everything he says. She has to argue and engage in debate with him, and then ultimately concede that he is correct. She also needs to be curvy with a large chest, on and on. Our mutual friend basically thinks he just sets up himself with that clearly insane and unreasonable list as a cover for himself just being too socially awkward, insecure and nervous to approach women romantically. With such an unrealistic screening process. He can tell himself that it's not that I was too nervous to pursue her. She wasn't good enough for me anyway. It's double weird BC he can have female friends just fine. He makes friends of both genders really easily and casually. The crazy only comes out if you ask him why he won't romantically date a given girl. I am lost my virginity at 31. I was generally uninterested in dating in my early 20s and spent most of my time smoking pot and playing video games. In my late 20s it became apparent I had no skills trying to attract the opposite sex. I went on and off again trying to meet someone using dating apps, but most women lost interest in me after the first date and the rest after the second or third. I had given up on dating again when my sister set me up on a blind date with someone her husband knew. We surprisingly hit it off. Fast forward a few months and the time comes to do the deed. I was understandably nervous. There are things about sex no amount of porn can prepare you for, namely the smell, taste, and mechanical execution of work that is sex. The first time was awkward, but it got better. I must not have sucked at it as much as it felt, like I did, because we've been married for 6 months now. I lost my virginity at 35. I've always been overweight and a constant fear of rejection kept me from dating most of my life. Almost exactly a year ago I just said fuck it and downloaded Tinder. I went on a few dates before meeting the love of my life. She was only a little more experienced than I was and never showed signs of surprise or made me feel weird about being so inexperienced. I intend to propose on the anniversary of our first date. For the people posting saying their chance has passed, it's never too late.